to this testimony. Um, having read the report and multiple sources of information that are now coming out, um, I got to tell you that the trust, the trust for the IRS to begin with, was already shaky by the American people. And uh, I know whenever someone gets any piece of information from the IRS, it doesn't feel very good, and they're not very confident, um, at, even before this happened, that they're going to be treated fairly. But what has happened here in this testimony that we're getting today is very disturbing. And I want to say what Mr. Price said. If I were sitting at home watching this on C-SPAN, I would probably be questioning again, well, there doesn't seem to be clarity here. How can I trust? Um, let me go back to, as I'm listening to your testimony and your opening marks, you referred to this as foolish mistakes. And then you acknowledged in the response to Mr. Rangel that there was abuse. So this was more than just foolish mistakes. This was abuse. And then you said to Mr. Ryan's response that, the, that you felt that the applicants were dealt with fairly. And then you turned around and said, um, answering to Mr. O'Neill, that there was a litmus test that was a political activity. Um, and you then said political or politics is always where we ask questions in these kinds of applications. Um, I want to go to page number six on the report that does talk about the words that were used like Tea Party and Patriots. And then at another point in time, uh, issues including government spending, debt, taxes, uh, public a uh, advocacy and lobbying to make America better. And, and I want to know if you say that, yes, there is a litmus test and that politics is always um, where we ask questions any time there's an application that seems to go there. Can you give me some other words that would have been used beside what appears to me to be all conservative questions? Was there a progressive that we should look for anything in the application then that says progressive? Was that anywhere? So I think what, what – um, and, and I'll refer to, to, to Mr. George's statement. Um, I believe his statement indicated what my understanding is, which is this was um, not the only thing that our folks were looking at as they scanned. But the, the you're approach. not answering my question. Was there anything – in any of these, this criteria that was outside of what I'm seeing in this report that would have indicated to me that other than conservative groups who were applying for this status, that you had a word in there anywhere to say, okay, the litmus test is this seems to be political. So we always look at political. Where is the word progressive? Where is the I'm not, word? I'm not arguing that the list was bad and that the list was conservative-based. What then I'm saying I would is say, more than that. Excuse me. I'm going to reclaim the... my time on this because then I would say it's targeted. You can't have that both ways. That's targeting. And there are 16 times in this report that says that there was targeting. So I believe that as you're giving this testimony that you can't have that both ways. Now, um, there's also ineffective management that is talked about in this report. And even if you get outside of this and say, okay, there was no targeting, I want to know how a couple of employees that are considered low level could have done what was done here. Because this says to the American people that out of thousands of employees that you have at the IRS, there's ineffective management there. Nobody's watching this. If this was noted in 2010 and in 2013, we're just now finding out about this, that certainly is ineffective management. Because there should have been somebody that was overlooking this that said, this must stop. And I'm going to come back in 30 days to make sure it stopped. But it continued and it continued, and now we've got 400 applications, um, some of them over three years. This is more than ineptitude. I mean, this is more than just mismanagement. And, and, uh, and I know my time's going to run out here, so, Mr. George, I want to come to you because um, you told Ms. Jenkins um, that, the, that you told the General Counsel of the Treasury on June the 4th. Correct. Um, you could not recall the exact date that you told the Deputy Secretary, Neil Wallen. Do you recall um, if it was soon after informing the General Counsel? Was it like a week, a month? 
I, I cannot give a time frame, but I can say that it was shortly thereafter. Okay. Could we get that date? Is that possible to get that date? You know, unfortunately, I don't keep a date planner, but I'll do my best, uh, okay. Ms. Black. And Thank if you. so, if I have it, I will certainly Thank supply it to the much. committee. All right. Mr. And Reed is recognized.